Hey guys, welcome back to YBC News, world news of politics, fun and more. And today we have a special guest, Princess Halima. Hello everyone, my name is Halima and I am 11 years old. I go to Marina International School. Hi, my name is Yasin um, um, and, I, and I'm 18 years old and I go to a composite My name is Al Aisha and I go to the Senegalese School and and today we're going to be having a conversation about why it's good to read. And before we get straight to this video, I will want to present the book of Princess Halima. She's 16 in the book, but in real life she's 12, 11. And the book we have here is the a Birthday to, to Remember in the Gambia. Gambia. I think that why it's important to read because you really discover a lot of things. Um, I think that it's important to read because it increases your vocabulary and you can also learn a lot of like a lot of new facts and you can also like, learn about new places, new animals, new things and new people. Why I think it's important to read because you learn a lot of new stuff that you didn't know but you think that they're just fake, but in real, they're real. Why is it important to read? Because it helps you know about more about your culture and your world and where you come from and uh, the world around you. Now, can, can you tell us what's your favorite book, French or English? My favorite book in French is the... I have a lot of books. The Pagnoir and in English is Cleopatra. My favorite book in French um, is the book um, about a girl that found her work. I have a lot of favorite books, but my three favorite books are, of course, the Princess Halima book series, um, the Lou book series, and the Moon Girl book series. My favorite book is, I have um, one of them is in French, Pilou Fas. Um, I have another one, um, the ballerina. I forgot her name, but she's a girl that becomes a ballerina. And I have another one that is National Geography, um, Martin Luther King Jr. And my fourth one is um, National Geography. Corals. It's about coral. My English favorite book is um is about a a girl um that is a royalty royalty. She couldn't do nothing except stay in the house and wash the clock. But then she went to a school. They all bullied her. But at the end, um, her she found a um little dog. Everybody said the dog was ugly, but she rescued the dog from the water and then um, it became her friend. And it was the our only boy um, that was her friend. Our favorite position to read, that's the topic. Uh, so my favorite um, position to read is when I'm laying on my belly because that makes me like lay down and when I'm, when I'm in bed, um, I just sleep when I'm reading and I think it's very comfortable. That's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, my favorite position to read is when I'm kind of like slouching, so I'm kind of like this. And I sit on the floor sometimes also. So. My favorite position to read is so funny, but I lay on my back like this. Upside down and read. It's so weird. <laughs> My favorite position is when I'm on my back and laying down and putting the book, book like that. It's very nice. It's like the book is on the ceiling. So now we're going to be moving to the topic of why um, um, we have to read to our siblings, especially in the older siblings. I think that it's important for older siblings that can read to, read to their younger siblings so that like so 
they <coughs> can also like for bedtime stories so they can enjoy reading so when they grow up they like become like they become very good readers and it's also very good to read because it lets your imagination run wild so like if you read a bedtime story then you like you'll have very good dreams if you read a good book what I think is good to let your big siblings read for you, cause like you can, cause it's gonna even help you to learn to read more faster, and you can read for your younger siblings too, and tell them like, oh, this is how we were, this is how my big sibling was learning me how to read and reading me bedtime stories, and yeah. So let's have a tiny quiz. Um. Why is it so important to read? I think that it's important to read because when you read, you get to learn a lot of inter interesting facts and also you can um, like also you can like let your imagination run wild. Okay, you got that correct. This one's kind of hard. Um is there libraries in every country in the world where you can go and borrow books? There are some there's some underdeveloped countries where they don't have like proper libraries. They might like have the uh, like they probably tried to attempt to have a library, but it's probably not good. It might be like dusty or dirty and the books are probably just, you know, they're probably not in good conditions. But some library most countries in the world have libraries, like in the United States, in Europe, and some very some countries in Africa. Like here in Gambia, we have some libraries. Why is it so important to have imagination to read? Um, I think that it's good to have like have imagination while you're reading, so you can like just like in your mind if you're reading to yourself if you're reading to like your younger sibling, you can imagine how the characters look in the book or you can imagine like if you're reading a, a fairy tale about fairies, you can imagine like the fairy being very beautiful or you can have the fairy being like very small, very big, you know. Princess Halima, how do you feel when you first visited um, Kunta Kinga Island in real life? Um, in real life, I was really excited to go to a new country, not a new country too, visit that uh, the new island and to experience that for the first time was really cool but then also you um, if you read the book Princess Halima also does visit the Kunta Kinte Island. Princess Halima how many books are in the Princess Halima series? Um, there are three books in the Princess Halima series. You have the first book which is Princess Halima and the Kingdom of Afia. The second book is Princess Halima Exploring the Wilderness in Tanzania. And um, the third book which you're holding is um, Princess Halima, A Birthday to a Member in the Gambia. Princess Halima, what are the African countries you have been to? I have been to Rwanda, I've been to Ethiopia, I've been to Tanzania and now I'm in the Gambia. We also have been in Mauritania, um, And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you check out the book.